What's up guys, today we're going to be doing the Blackrock's Black Rock Death Sims. Which, this is, this is my first, this is the first classic expansion video I've ever done. I'm very happy to do this, so yeah. I know everyone, I know all y'all, all y'all know that this is the OG expansion. Well, you could call it the official game, but to me personally, I like to call it an expansion of its own. This is like a... This has... <laughs> A little over, I think it's like 20 something plus bosses in this instance. I know it's a huge dungeon. I know it's like a huge, just I know it's a huge dungeon. Oh, I was like, because in case if you don't know, in case if you don't know, in case if you, in case if you don't know, I'm sorry, I had to fix myself there. I had to correct myself there, I had to say, whoops. Well, this instance also has actually. Um, well, uh, I have to keep a little friendly here. Crap ton of a fudge ton of mobs in this instance. There is a lot of them in this instance. Every single corner of this instance is packed with mobs. Literally, booms upon booms and bobs in this instance. They're everywhere. Yeah, they really are. And yes, I can prove that. Alright, here we go. There, this instance also has a lot of optional bosses. But the first actual boss of the instance is... Is this fire guy... Is this... Is, is the... Is the fire elemental... This guy is a fire elemental boss. Oh. I'll show you when it... I'll show you later on what he means. Uh, for example, he looks like one of these guys. That you see here. He's a boss version of one of these fire elements. Who's another optional boss? Right here. This is This is an earth elemental boss. His name is Wakar, the Earth Elemental boss of the systems. This guy is a Hound Master. He also has a funny name. Who is right here? His name is Grebbar, the Hound Master on that area. He's like the Master of Hounds. So the title for him is Hound Master. His title is Hound Master. B2W, I also I also just B2W I just realized there is a pack of three patrolling over here. I'm just gonna do a little trick shot on them. To jump in a short leap. Times where it's useful to jump is when you're using, when for, for me, me for example, I'm using correct leap. Correct leap is not useful. You can, there are good ways to use this ability. It's when you, if you have a certain talent on, it'll make you get 70% speed for like two seconds. 
Alright, here we go. Unleash your fury. Unleash your inner Dandori. Dandori. Yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah, there's the boy. Oh yeah, yeah. Go, look him go, look him go, man. Oh, there he is. An arachno, a humanoid arachno. That's the. That's another optional fight, by the way. This fight is called Winged the Law. That, that fire just did was wing of the law, which is a it's a arena encounter. The it's the arena encounter of this place. I found a little trick where if you take out all these like guys here, normally you would take these guys guards out. Normally they intend for you to take out the guards a lot later in the instance, but you could go. You can get right on ahead to them early. If you get towards them early, you can get some extra. You can take you can take out the guards early before coming for ultimate ultimately coming back there later. Here leads to another option. If you go left. It will take you to another optional boss. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yo no! I'm gonna do a 360 no scope. Oh, ha, ha. this guy is a big magma giant boss. Oh, gear. The big magma boss. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Just oh, straight on, head on, yeah. There's a bunch of guards over there. I better be careful. And these guys patrol around, by the way. Well, I'm gonna show you a little trick too. Well. No, you already know what that trick is. Once again, it's a 360 no scope trick. Yeah, I try my best. Sorry, guys, I try my best to do it, but I, I think I got it good enough. I think you know, if you don't know, what I mean the 360 no scope thing used to be a meme back in the days. Well, I know things eventually, as you say, as you, as you, as some of you guys meme memers say that it's memes sometimes die out. I could agree on that, yes. I could agree with what you're saying there, but... If you're really talking about me dying like it's a person dying... Well, I understand that's just a joke, so... It's a little joke that people say, but when the meme dies, so it's like an old joke too. And I understand that. So... So... It's me about me, so... Because I understand exactly what you mean. That guy was another... That guy was the second... The actual second boss in the instance. Phineas. Because it sounds like Phineas. It, it, his name refers to Phineas from Phineas and Ferb. A little bit. Except it's an F instead of a P. It sounds similar to Phineas's name from Phineas and Ferb. It's like a slight anagram. Ooh. Ooh. Later mobs right there. 
it's like I could see the rest of them. Your foes are all sorts of sizes. So, well, what do I mean that? Your foes could be any type of type of size whatsoever. And those funny terms that they say a lot of times are true. In this case, it is. In this case, in this case, for this instance, yes. Patrolling medic. Now that uh, patrolling up sees like a little random. Ooh, four of them here. No, five. Because the uh, hound. That's just two extra rooms. Bunch of fire elementals right over here. Oh boy. Two guardsmen right here trying to get me. I just I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. What and once again, I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. 2.0 This is the final one 3.0 This guy right here is another optional boss beat Well, by the way I was trying to say by the way but I'm sort of showing it to B2W but By the way it's better Because you might understand that Right You don't have to take all these guys out here, but if you want extra challenge, you can. If you want to add additional challenge, but there you go. Some of them are guards. Keep in mind, some of these are elite foes. Some of them have a chance to be elite. Most of them time they come out weak. It's them their time. Oops, got stuck there. Well, that's everything for the. F this is like. There's two full-on areas of this instance has two on two full-on zones, like it's a raid. Yeah, I know it's that's very, I know it's very long. Well, my trick worked out. All right. All right, here we go. Come on, come on, baby. Another boss out here, which is General Angerforge, is his name. He's like a warrior slash hunter boss. It's like some. It's like a gladiator kind of boss. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. This guy is the golem. This guy is the gol style of golem lord. Argel, Mac, Argel Mac, and he has the and he has the golems as bodyguards. And those golems are his personal bodyguards.
Yeah. Yeah, get the fire elementals, baby. Get on the fire elementals. Those guys come towards. They, those guys are kind of like guards for this area. So guys are like really tough guards. Those elementals. This is an optional boss fight here. His name is Hurley Black Breath. I have to take out all these optional guys here. Or at least two, at least a couple of that. Ooh. Yes, these guys actually are killed, surprisingly. I don't know how that. Okay. They look neutral, so I guess that's true. And this Wibbly guy right here is also killable if you say a certain thing to him. Speak a certain thing to him. Yeah. It gives out a certain thing, message to him, and he want, they'll make him want to get you. Oh, these guys are certainly trying to... Okay, I see what you're doing there. I see what you're doing there, guards. Right. Talk to me. Walk with you. Walk on your mind. So Walk to your access back. the option, the golem optional boss back. of this place, you have to give this private guy ten things of beer. So then he goes over. And also, keep in mind, keep this optional boss over here alive long enough so you can take him down. To be able to take the golem guy right here down. He, when you talk to him, he says he's not interested in the conversation. Yeah, he doesn't even enjoy, he says, I do not enjoy conversation. He just wants to do his guarding duty job, so he doesn't want to talk. Yeah, hello, Ronak. And now he becomes a fightable bot. Well, for him to become instantly hostile towards you. Hostile status. If you take his food and drinks, he'll get more and more triggered at the fact that you took his stuff. Now he's host now he's more fight now he's now he wants to fight you, so It's also a couple of four like four of these guys here along with the boss. Keep in mind there's, there's groups out here as well. There's two groups out here as well. There's also this embassy boss right here. He tries, it's like, tries to stop you from making progress. But obviously, if you're good enough at the fight, you can just defeat him. In my perspective, I'm showing you what it's like to be able to one-shot these guys. Since most people normally, you know, are not at the level cap or at a decent level higher than the mobs. Or they just don't get the time to test out what it's like to do this, like I am. Here's, this is a really interesting encounter. This actually is a 7 boss encounter. Yeah, that is rough. Melee, range, melee, another melee, another melee, range and melee. 
This one's also range in melee. The names are... These are the seven rel. These are the rel... the seven rels. And the encounter is called the seven. Called the trial of the seven. Or of seven. It says right here. There's a bunch of res a bunch of reservists here, along with some every now and then flame keepers. The ones you want to find are flame keepers, because they have the thing you need to make progress into the next room. And by PTW, these reservists, the reservists, infinitely respawn back. Flame keepers also do too, but they don't come back as fast as the reservists do. Also, these guys come in very massive quantity. They're really weak, but the quantity is super big. These guys are very weak, but the quantity is huge. Absolutely huge. Here's the second to last boss of the instance. This guy is also another fire giant, which is, is this one is, is his name is this time is Magmus. Well, upon fighting him, these fire guys, fire turrets, things activate, making the fight a little harder to do. Oh, I missed a couple. Okay. It's, it's kind of interesting. Oh, I did a little. That was a little trick I did there. I tried to. I was trying to save some time there by doing that. Oh. Once you clear up all the, once you take out all the trash before the boss, final boss in the instance. Back in classic, he used to be accompanied with the princess, but nowadays he's accompanied by a priestess. When the f yeah, it's just priestess. But for him, it, his name is Emperor Thurisan. His full name is Dagran Thurisan. He's the final boss of the instance, and he also drops a very famous weapon known as Iron Foe. The high priestess that accommodates them is also lootable, just like he, he himself is. And he does like, he actually doesn't fight you alone. For real this time, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it's called a 
true pro gamer boot. True 360 no scope pro gamer boot. For tradition, I will always loot when it's the final boss. I'll at least always at least loot the final boss to to compens to com to combinate to combinate the to co to you know. By the way, you can also sit on the throne. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's a kind of a fun <laughs> it's. It's a bit, it's kind of interesting actually, like, you never think you could be able to sit on this drone, but if you left click on it, you can actually just end up sitting on this drone. Well, now this is like the, well, this is also the end of the instance, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to positively comment, like, and subscribe. You could do any, you could do whatever way you want to the notification bell. Share this with others, especially this one, because this is a really memorable instance. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. That was easy. <laughs>